Hi everyone. Welcome to my first tutorial in using the NVIM editor with Microsoft's brand new uh, terminal preview. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Vim editor and basically how to become a text editing ninja. Okay. Um, so to begin with, we're going to start out by installing the Chocolatey Package Manager. Chocolatey Package Manager for Windows. Uh, this will basically allow you to install packages and have a package manager similar to um, apt-get if you're familiar with Linux. Kind of just a way to install applications and just have them to just work. Okay, it just makes it a lot easier. So let's get started in installing Chocolatey. So you see the URL here, chocolatey.org, where you can just do a Google search for Chocolatey. And we'll go here and click get started. Now what we'll need to do is run this command here in a admin level PowerShell to install Chocolatey. So we'll just right click, left click here. We'll open up a PowerShell. Right click, run as administrator. And paste that command in there with a right click or a control V. Mash enter. Sorry, I have a slow connection here. I'll probably fast forward through this. We got a couple warnings there, but you can uh, you can ignore those uh, if you'd like. You could go and create a profile here for your Windows PowerShell. If that's something that interests you. You could do a quick Google search on that. All right, I'm going to close out of this PowerShell and restart my Windows terminal. All right, so now let's go find our package for Vim. We'll go here, we'll say NVIM. Here we go. So that's just going to be Chaco install NVIM. Nice and simple. Chocolatey recommends we run this as an administrator, so let's not do this. Alright, we'll open a, uh, open these bad boys as an administrator. We'll rerun that same command by pressing up on the arrow key and enter. Uh oh. Never had this before. Oh, type the package wrong. Let's go back to the admin panel. It's NeoVim. Here we go. Sorry about that. Probably edit this out. Uh. 
And there we go. What does this say? Uh, changed path. So instead of restoring the terminal, we can just run this command here. Refresh env. All right. Now we have invim. You failed. regular shell this time. There we go. Now we have invim. Uh, why do I keep saying invim, you may ask? Uh, it's because we're using uh, NeoVim, which is a community fork of the original Vim editor. Uh, this one it just has some better asynchronous operations it can perform. It's just it's, it's, it has some better tooling for the people that create plugins and uh, has some speed improvements over the original Vim, in my opinion. Uh, the differences are very mild. Um, instead of an uh, VimRC file to configure this, we actually use an init.vim, I believe it is. I don't know. We'll double check that in a second. Uh, but yeah, this is in Vim here. Um, in the next portion, we'll talk a little bit more about the editor and what kind of things you can do inside of it. For now, I'll just simply tell you how to exit the editor. Okay, so what we're going to do here is um, hit the semicolon key using shift, and then we'll just type Q for quit. And that solves the great mystery of how to exit them. Alright you guys, I'll see you in the next part, and we'll talk a little bit more about basics. And from then on, we'll go on to configure some plugins and talk about the more powerful features of the application. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.